I am finally done with my exams. It was a long road that I didn't think I would ever be done with, but it is finally over. And now I am trying to do as many sewing projects during my Christmas break. By the way, happy holidays. I really hope that this time was a blessed time for you. I really hope that the year 2021 will be a good year for you. I hope that I hope that you'll be healthy. More than anything, I think we've, we've realized that health is not something we can take for granted ever. Also, I hope you can enjoy every project you try uh, for the next year. I hope it's a year that you try and take risks and it works out for you. So yeah, so yeah, I really just hope for you guys that the year 2021 will bring you just a lot of great things. That's, that's really what I wish for for you guys. Um, and yeah, so in today's video, I wanted to try and do it in laundry set because since I am doing online school, I just need a lot of clothing that's really comfortable, but I also want to look cute in. And so I thought it would be a great idea to try and do a matching set because they're kind of expensive. Because my mom has always told me that I can be successful at whatever I try and I believed her and that is a blessing and a curse. I don't have a pattern for this, so I'm going to be using um, clothing I already have. I have no idea if it works out. If it works out, it's a tutorial. If it doesn't work out, it's a I try to make a laundry set video. So yeah, I really just hope you enjoy and we love for you to let's get right to this video. So for this project, I needed tracing paper to trace the patterns, some clothing to base myself off of. I also needed some measuring tape. I also needed a few pencils to trace the patterns with. And since I knew that this was going to be an extremely long process, I decided to equip myself with a podcast. Today I am listening to conspiracy theories about the Blue family. It's pretty interesting, so I recommend. So I began the project by tracing pens that I already had as a base for the pens that I would make. But the mistake that I made was that I chose pens that were khaki, so they weren't a tight fit on me, which was kind of what I was going for. Instead, if I could do this again, I would take pens that are kind of in the same direction than what I'm going for. Another mistake I made is that I used a 2 inch seam allowance which if you know anything about sewing is absolutely huge. Like I decided to add an additional 2 or 3 inches to the bottom to make it a little more flare so that made it 5 extra inches from the original pants. Get it? It's, 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 it's a disaster awaiting. But um, I'm getting ahead of the story here. <laughs> After that I had to cut up the pattern pieces which just took such a long time and so I decided to watch Québécois Sensation Occupation okay, Double. After spending about two hours washing this fabric, not by hand of course in the washing machine but like still, um, I decided to put it on my duty floor. <laughs> um, <yeah. laughs> It's just, it's a lot of fabric, um, yeah. And I guess the point was to give me enough space in order to trace the patterns onto the actual fabric. Of course, I put the fabric right side up, which is the wrong thing to do. You have to put it wrong side up so that you don't actually mark um, the visible parts, but I'll do that later as I realize it. Another thing that is quite important to note is that you need to notice where the pattern stretches so it only stretches one way right so since i was making stretchy pants i needed the width of the pants to be stretchy and not the length so that's something to keep in mind and then was planned to make the cut and yes i'm referring to that amazon show that is a one of the project one way Okay, so it is now the evening and I'm going to start sewing. <laughs> so now I'm just going to start by sewing these together. <sighs> okay, so now I'm just going to be pinning the end seam of the butt. Yeah, just don't forget about the butt, just don't forget about seam allowance, very important. And yeah. But a fat, yeah, like that. Sleep all day, just a cat, that. 
Over the cup and the Hershey Camel like, always thirsty Will I ever grow to the guy that I think of? I'ma get this slow as the sky that I dream of for this project, given that I was working with stretchy material, I went with ballpoint needles, which is very important. However, I don't know why, but I went with a straight stitch instead of a zigzag stitch, which is what you would normally use for a stretchy material, but I will learn from a mistake. And this is what the pants are looking like so far. They are looking a bit grotesque, but we are going to fix it. I just need to take it in a lot. And yeah. After making the adjustments, I cut off the excess and this is what the pants are looking like now. I suggest adjusting until you feel that it is the right fit. For me, it took at least 25 adjustments, but you know, it takes time. Like, Baking pants is a hard process. Okay, so um, the pants go up really, really high. And I fixed the waist kind of, so it's like, it's a little better. Like I still have a little extra fabric here, but honestly, I'm kind of done fixing it. So I'm just going to take a little bit away from this right here. I'm going to shorten it. Hopefully it will be better. Um, so my belly button's right here. My natural waist is here. So I cannot, like I want the, the waist of the pants to sit kind of like this like nothing any lower than this so i'm just going to pin it kind of just as a reminder that this is the lowest i can go and yeah we're going to proceed in order to make the waistband i had to roll the hem once just to tuck the ends and another time in order to leave enough room to, for the elastic so of course every single time i measured the hem i was rolling just to make sure that it was equal all throughout so that's kind of what i recommend doing so I pinned the first hem of the waistband, I sewed it, then I measured my waist with the elastic. I made sure that the elastic was tight enough that the pants would be able to sit on my waist but not too tight, I would be uncomfortable. And I just used this standard elastic that I found on Amazon. I think that people recommend using a larger elastic for pants like this but that's all I had so I worked with that. Then I rolled up the hem a second time, this time to be able to insert the waistband so I made sure to not miss my um, point of reference which was the pin I inserted earlier. So I rolled it again, then I was ready to sew but of course I made sure to, be, to leave a small space to be able to insert the elastic. The best trick I have learned all year was definitely to attach the elastic to a pin as you're feeding it through the fabric so that it's just easier to find where your elastic is. I definitely recommend using that trick. And I guess that you could sew the two ends of the elastic together, but I personally prefer just doing a knot. I just think that it's a waste of time to, to sew it, it's just too much trouble for me. And the last step of this tumultuous process was finally to hand the bottom of the pants. And then I was home free. Except that I had to zigzag stitch every single stitch of the pants, but we're just going to ignore that. to zigzag stitch every single seam of these pants if I don't want them to come undone. I have a few things that I have learned that I would like to share if you ever want to try a project like this. So first of all, there are just so many things to take into consideration when you're making pants. It is absolutely crazy. I mean, you have to take into account the waist, the hips, the length of the crotch, the length of the legs, the width of the thighs. It's just, it's a cra it's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. And when you're not a proportional person, I thought I was a pretty proportional person, but I guess I'm not because boy, oh boy, did I have a lot of adjustments to make. Even though I took a pair of pants that fits me well, but I guess I didn't take the right pair of pants because they weren't tight and I wanted this week kind of a tight fit around the torso area and around the thighs and I guess that was my big mistake and I just it was just a long process I thought that in like a day and a half I'd be able to sew and the pants and the top 
it didn't happen so i'll be showing how i do the top in another video because that just it just took way too long to do <laughs> i've also learned that somehow the length of the pants is never what you think it is so i started out with pants that were way too long and now they are not even reaching my ankles it's like I don't I don't understand what happened there but they're short now so yeah like I had to hem the bottom and stuff and I guess that with doing the crotch and adjusting and everything I lost some length there too and it's just I thought it was good at math but there are just so many things I didn't take into account while making those pants also throughout the in the beginning of the process I thought I would give myself a two inches seam allowance two inches if you are an avid sewer, you know that's way too much and it was way too much, the pants were huge so yeah, that was a big mistake on my part I also learned to manage my expectations because those pants aren't exactly what I thought it would be at first and... but I still like them, I still like them a lot it's my very first project from like scratch so I'm still proud of myself for making them but man, it was a long process and yeah I guess that's all I had to say, so thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you subscribe and I hope I see you in the next one and yeah, bye guys. Hey.